coach for 17 years, I can see Paul Lusk's his dilemma. Who do you stop? There's so many guys that are skilled offensively in this Creighton offense. Patterson on the ISO against Ichinike. And then he beats him in the other end. Kyle Reams, when he gets going offensively, it's because he does some dirty work down low. It's an EK trying to get a follow each other. It's a great matchup, but you also risk foul trouble. That's why Reams has to attack. Downing goes early in his career. He couldn't make shots, but it, he didn't have a bad shot, so you knew it was going to come at some point. Experience combined with practice ethic. Boy, he's open again. It's an EK. Ceiling. He's going to the line. Missouri State very much in attack mode. Mitch, I love the way this Missouri State team has come into this building and just attacked the rack. Missouri State with an early sub. Ryan is in. In his first four games, he shot 9% from behind the arc. Since that time, 46% from three. Echenique with a good hustle. Has to contribute, has to get you some rebounds. Not a great rebounder, but let's ask for five at least. He had 18 against West Virginia, and of course, Kevin Jones is a beast for them. Yeah. Free Bird Player of the Year. Now, there's some others they are going to give merit consideration. Or mismatch down low for Weems right now. There he is. He's going to take advantage. Well done. Ooh, the nation's leading scorer, Doug McDermott, only with six. Gibbs underneath. And a steal. McDermott against Weems. Tries to go with the left hand that time. Downing with a three, Missouri Housing, 665, third all time in Creighton history. And Missouri State is not phased. Patterson will hit this shot. He has no points tonight. Well, Doug McDermott's getting every rebound on the defensive end. Five rebounds for him. And Janike working inside. In four of those five losses, the opponent has made 53 pointers. The other area of concern, turning the basketball over. Rebound bouncing out there. Practice time under his belt over the last week and a half. Into the paint, McDermott challenged by Henson. Underneath, Echenique, the big man, showing some good hands and a lot of brute force. He has four. He sure did. He just carved out space and rooted Tyler Zeller out of there. They're going at it inside there. Zeller right over him, and it rattled on Friday. Here he is. He was terrific in that second half, particularly. Had a couple of steals, seven points. McDermott right back with it. But he's got a nice little tempo going here, hitting a couple of trays at the beginning. Carolina wants to play inside out, but they will take the open jump shots when they're available. Echenique. Should be bound to get the outlet up to Young. Young surveying. Gives it to the trailer, Gibbs. I like the aggressiveness of Young here to start the game. I like it. There was no foul called. Zeller's just fine. Here's Young. And again, smothered on the shot. Up ahead to Bullock. To the trailer. Marshall for another way in. 30 games. And now he's been in double figs five straight. And he's on his way to a sixth. And in that stretch, 14 points a game, Jim. And he's also made eight of 16 three pointers. They're going to call him. Jones, that's a two point basket. There's Zeller. Pass out to Chapman. La Benchenike. Oh, this now. And Creighton have a similar turnaround down 17. The only way it happens is if they're able to knock down some perimeter and knock down 10 to have a chance because it's just so hard to get shots around the goal against North Carolina. Five out of 14, Clark. Here's that Janike. And the challenge. Oh, my goodness. Actor Gadget couldn't stop this one. No. He backed him down and punched it. That's grown man basketball there, folks. Got his body into him. 
And I think he surprised Henson. Actually surprised me. <laughs> I know he did. <laughs> wow. Justin Hamilton it was a good team. Mm -hmm. beat him. Sure was. Didn't win another tournament game until Friday here in Greensboro. And again, they were trying to get for the first time ever. Consecutive wins, and Zeller will go to comfortable margin for North Carolina, but they've got to continue to be sharp. And that's as sharp as you can get. We're also playing in uh, Omaha. Second half about ready to get under the way there with Norfolk State and Florida. But for now, we stay with number one seed, North Carolina and Creighton in the second. They've been waiting for March to come around. <laughs> Some people thought they were in the regular season. Maybe a little bit bored waiting to get to March. And then, of course, they had that game late in the regular season. That Duke blocked by Echenique. Under 10 on the shot clock. And they blew out Duke in that first half at Cameron. And that's going to be a foul outside with just three on the.